surface. And what is a table for? Associations with bodies. All the, think of all the ideas that go into just the table. There's a lot. Imagine you could remove all those ideas completely from your mind, as if you had no clue of what it is. What sound it would make. Oh, what's this? This is just an image, but how does it relate to a table? Imagine that I said I would drop this on this table. You already have an idea in your mind of the sound it would make. Let go of that too. I threw it from the side. What sound would that make? Let go of that too. If I tried to kick it with my foot, what sound would that make? Of a sock and a foot hitting. Let go of that sound too. You see, anticipation. Those are all just memories. Those are all just hypotheticals. But truth doesn't have any hypotheticals. There are no hypotheticals in the truth. So the, the key idea, this is what you can practice with in relationships, is everything you think you know about someone is from the past. Even what their motives are, what they're going to do, what, how they would act in a situation, why they do the things they do, all of psychology, all of, you know, understanding people, understanding children, understanding parents, how people would react, you know, all that stuff. It's all part of a learned system. And the truth is an open mind that literally has let go of all of that. And lets you see with new eyes, realize. <laughs> That's where you get the realize. Realizations. You get to see them with the real eyes. And of course in miracles, Jesus says, the body's eyes do not see. The body's ears do not hear. The body's part of the ego system of image making. Just covering up over truth with a bunch of images. Like Akashic Records. Memories and memories, layers upon layers. It's just designed for one reason, to hide the truth. Think of the potential. Now that'll, next time you look at your relationship partner, <laughs> you think, whoa, I've got a purpose here to, to realize, you know, to see you with a higher vision than this distorted vision. So that's what our weekend is going to be about. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sample <laughs> of what we're going into. We're going down the rabbit hole. Some of you remember the Matrix. Morpheus there with his sunglasses and his two, two pills. The red pill. See how far down the rabbit hole you want to go this weekend. <laughs> the blue pill. You just wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Tell yourself another story, another justification. The Beatles song. Do, 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 do. It's just another day. You see the blue pill. You know, it's just telling stories to try to make up something to explain the misery, explain the compromise, explain the human condition, which is really not explainable. And then the red pill is down the rabbit hole with, with Lewis Carroll, where nothing is the same. You go underneath the projection, underneath the projected world, down into the mind, into the subconscious into the belief system, into that very consciousness that's generating this whole cosmos. And it's like, wow, how far down <laughs> do I want to go? 
that's really the question, you know, it's just as far as you want to go. You can have enlightenment this weekend, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> You're willing to come down with me, it's really joyful. <laughs> There's no boogeyman down there. <laughs> Pass the Akashic records, leave them behind. Past, past lives, past lives and reincarnation, you can leave that behind. Past all those repeating patterns. Yes, that's right, we're going past karma. Some of you remember John Lennon's song, Instant Karma is going to get you going to knock you off your feet. Better recognize your brother, everyone you meet.